we've been having a pretty rough spring. The temperatures have been well below average, but we're finally getting some awesome warmth. There's a ton to do today, but one of the number one things we have to do is get Mr. Otis outside to enjoy some beautiful Southern New Jersey weather. So come on, let's do it. Otis has spent the whole winter indoors in the enclosure that you guys got to see us build for him. And now that the weather's finally turned, he's gonna get to spend some time, supervised time outdoors. One of the only things we know about Otis's past is that he was allowed to live outdoors in the summer and indoors in the winter. But like we've said in many of the other videos about him, we really know basically nothing else. So we're not sure just how well he's gonna handle things. So let's start introducing him now, and we'll just kind of show him the ropes. this particular pen is ideal for him is because it's seasoned. It's been in place for a while. It's got a lot of different elements like logs, thick grass, weed cover, shrubbery, and bushes that we've added ourselves. We've got knockout rows and Mediterranean heather in here. So he's gonna get plenty of sun and shade. That's very important box turtles. They need a lot of shade, but they also need the sun. And thick grass, weed, and any kind of plant growth, and of course leaf litter and pine litter, crucial for box turtles to stay comfortable in. You might be thinking, how are you gonna find him in this thing? Well, don't forget folks, Casey and I do this for a living. We are always here with our animals, and we will always make sure we can find them. So having said that, we want him to hide. We want him to feel secure. We want him to find his little areas and little cubbies and places that he feels most secure in, in this big pen. And of course, box turtles, because they move so much, they need a lot of room. This pen is 30 feet by 10 feet. Box turtles can climb and they can dig, so we take that into consideration. The boards making up this enclosure are dug into the ground six inches, and there's also a six inch lip across the top. So we can't dig out, we can't climb out. So this is an eight foot by two foot cedar based cold frame from Gardener Supply. If you guys wanna order that, you can go to Amazon and usually find them. These things are great because they're cedar framed. They are safe for the animals. We're not talking about cedar substrate here, cedar wood, which is totally safe and it doesn't rot. So it can stay out here year round. You just cut a hole in here and it has polycarbonate panels that you can vent out on really hot days so there's no chance of anybody overheating in them or you can keep them closed on less than favorable days. Now. <laughs> Let me be clear here, box turtles, eastern box turtles, do not actually require one of these. The reason we're giving Otis one is because we still don't know enough about his past. I can't say that enough, so I don't know how well he's gonna do out here. He's going to come inside every single night, and we're gonna be spending a lot of time with him, but for the use of this cold frame, I want him to be able to thermoregulate as easily as he possibly can on less than favorable days, and that's where this thing is gonna come in handy. Eventually, it will probably be removed so long as that he acts like a box turtle should act. One of the many benefits of keeping turtles and tortoises outdoors, natural food items. This is a cricket. This is exactly one of the things that Otis would eat in the wild and some of the very things that keep him healthy. So we're gonna help him out. Water is crucial for any box turtle 
Eastern box turtles are no exception. They absolutely love the rain. That's when they like to come out the most, so he'll be getting plenty of that out here. But he does need access to water. Realistically, he should have a shallow pond. Since we don't know how he would react to a pond, because we don't know anything about his past, we're gonna go ahead and add shallow water dishes and bird baths randomly around the enclosure so that he can easily walk in and out of them, soak in them, drink in them, and maybe even catch some bugs in them. Once we see that he's doing well and acting like a normal box turtle, we'll eventually put a nice little shallow pond in here for him. So I'm really happy to see that he is strong enough to climb over these things. And this is some of the stuff he would do in the wild. On a rainy morning in the summer, when it's really humid and the situation is perfect and ideal, he would be climbing over things, looking for females, looking for things to eat. And uh, we're still on the hunt for a female for him, but it's gotta be just right, and her health has gotta check out perfectly, because we don't wanna risk anything with this special little turtle. So folks, I do want to assure you that Otis will be fully protected 24-7, 365 days a year. Just like all the other animals that get to live outside here, even if it's only temporarily, they are fully protected round the clock by surveillance, electric fences, dogs, and a plethora of other things. Otis will be coming indoors at night. I know I've already said that, but I want to reassure you that we're not going to just leave him out here, of course, when we're not home. But we got to let him be a box turtle. As I've said in all the videos about him, he's a box turtle with box turtle needs. So Otis is doing pretty good on his first day, I have to say. He's being a box turtle, and that's what we want to see. He's climbing over things. If he were to flip over, he can easily right himself, because this is on a little bit of an incline. He was hunting. He's gone under the bushes. He's literally used every little aspect of this pen, which is awesome. And he kind of seems like he's at home, but he's also sticking with that amazing Otis personality that we've all fallen in love with, and that we're going to continue to see in many more videos of him to come.